Here we go. Okay, I got eyes on it, Aldo. You got eyes on him, right, Aldo? Okay, good deal. You're on PV. You're on PV. What's he do, running out of gas or something? Keep me on the uh, driver's side if you can. Keep me on the driver's side. I'm going to try to show them the driver here. Uh, keep me on the driver's side if you can, please. This thing's going to be over here. He's running out of gas. Unless if he's playing cat and mouse. Okay, we're on. Uh, Tim, I'm turning off the IFB. I don't think we're going to break in. Let me know if we are. Okay, because it's... Oh, wait. Oh, no, what? Yeah, hold on. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Let me let me turn my tuner here. I'm on channel. TAC 38. They're supposed to be talking on TAC 38. Here we go. Hey, can you slide me a little more to the right? A little more to the right. I want to see what this guy's doing. He's giving everybody the one-finger salute here. Who's he talking to? Hey, is somebody talking to me, Booth? Here we go, News Shopper for Alpha. We are live over a pursuit here in downtown Los Angeles on the Harbor Freeway. LAPD Southwest officers were in pursuit of a vehicle. Those are 77th Division units there from the LAPD here. Let's go a little south. Let's go south. I want to look who that driver is. If you can get me south, I want to look in the window here. You with me? Okay, thanks. Looks like the driver may be complying here. We're not too sure. Oh, he's rolling up the window here. We're unclear what the original want was for this vehicle here. You can see LAPD uh, involved in a pursuit right now. We're on the 110 freeway stationary. 110 freeway northbound, just uh, in the USC area, just north of MLK. I'm gonna kind of show you what's happening right now. As LAPD officers open their doors, uh, the vehicle starts going northbound here. He was playing a little cat and mouse game, catch me if you can, earlier. And the vehicle is just slowly moving here on the Harbor Freeway. So as he creeps forward, officers creep forward as well. And because of that, they have all lanes shut down on the Harbor Freeway. You can see these officers behind keeping lanes closed. That's the LAPD helicopter above. And essentially right now, as officers slowly approach, suspect stops, taunts them a little, and then moves. And then here we go. We're on the move. Take two. So he's done this a couple times. Look at this officer. This officer may actually do a pit maneuver. They may say, you know what? We're done with you. Let's do a pit maneuver. Let's end this right now. Hopefully that will be the case. Let's get that sign out of my way, please. That might be, that might be helpful here, if you can. We're going to move the helicopter so we can see, get through that sign here. Hold on, Aldo. He's moving. That's good. Okay, so now he's moving here. You got an officer who's getting a little more aggressive here, getting a little closer. And you can still see right now, it's just kind of a game where officers are uh, attempting to make contact with the driver. Again, we don't know what the original want was. These are officers uh, summoning some commands. And as they do that, he has his windows rolled up right now. Earlier he had his windows rolled down. He just kind of slowly, and again, I'm assuming it's a male subject in the vehicle. We're still not completely sure. Tim, I'm turning down my IFB. That's a distraction. If we go live, just let me know, Tim, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I got my radios turned up. I'm hearing uh, Montel Williams. And you can see right now that vehicle still continuing on the 110 northbound here, slowly moving on the northbound side of the 110 freeway here. LAPD still in pursuit, trying to pull this vehicle over. They're in the express lanes. And because this driver is playing this cat and mouse game, catch me if you can, you can see as a result, all lanes are closed on the 110 freeway. They're not letting any vehicle traffic continue northbound. We understand earlier they were in a tracking mode because of the excessive speeds that were uh, on this uh, freeway, uh, that was on this pursuit, rather. But now officers, each and every time they get closer, the vehicle just proceeds northbound. Desk, uh, repeat that. What is it want? 
Okay, we're just understanding now this is a possible stolen vehicle. Getting word it's a stolen vehicle here. That's a little problematic for officers. It's a stolen vehicle, so they don't know who the driver is. They don't know the, you know, the questions that are being asked right now is what are the circumstances of this vehicle. Jeez, that was me, don't worry. That's my iPad just falling. I have to. That was my iPad falling. This thing's not holding. Okay, so here we go. He's rolling down the window. Keep me right here, Aldous. I want to try to see with this driver. I want to see who he is. Rolling down the rear window right now. Keeping an eye on the hands right now. That's important. That's what the uh, police helicopters are doing. They're relaying the information down to the officers below. They want to see what's in his hands, whether or not he has any weapons or anything of that nature that can be threatened to the police or the public safety. Well, yeah, he's just littered. But uh, now he's starting to pick up a little more speed here. Let me fix the camera and put a different setting. And we're on the run again. So this is like the third time this vehicle has done that. Again, this is a stolen vehicle. This is a, uh, you can see LAPD officers were down there that uh, they were waiting for him to exit the freeway. They were actually going to uh, deploy a spike strip. So in a situation like this, we don't have any traffic on the 110 because all lanes were shut down. All lanes were closed to accommodate the police. LAPD still primary following this pursuit on the Harbor Freeway coming into downtown Los Angeles. I hear the sounder. Are we going to break in? Okay, all right, I got you. As long as I don't hear the Montel show, because um, it's it's a lot in my ear. But I'm with you if you guys want me, just let me know. Thank you, thank you. You can see we're picking up speeds right now, exiting the freeway right now, coming up on uh, Aval... Uh, I can't read that street. Let's, uh, desk, I have to turn you down right now, Desk. I'm sorry, I got to turn you down. Oh, Steve Harvey, got it, got it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, it's on the other side, on the other side. I've run this building here. Okay, we're losing it because of this building here. We're gonna pull out, see what we can, I see some officers, there we go. There's the red vehicle going southbound on Grand Avenue. So we're in the streets of uh, downtown LA, southbound on Grand Avenue. Vehicle going probably about 50 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour, southbound on Grand Avenue. You know, I don't know why they're on attack frequency. I don't know if they're going to go back to a regular frequency here. Let's see if 77th is going to pick it up again. Can I see what that driver's doing? If you can, please. And here we go, same thing. Vehicle continuing southbound on Grand. Just going through that intersection right now. You can see how fast he's starting to pick up speeds here. Uh, continuing south on the Harbor, or south on Grand Avenue, paralleling the Harbor Freeway. Harbor Freeway's to the west of us, to the right of that driver, to the east of this driver. Some major streets here in downtown Los Angeles. The next one over is gonna be Central. Passing a school right now, and and uh, just trying to see if uh, students are out right now. It's about that time. Just, I gotta put that on. I gotta see this. I can't read that map overlay. Okay, we're still continuing southbound on Grand Street, coming up on 39th Street, coming up on 39th and Grand. And this is the area where we were where this, uh, where this vehicle has been circling a lot. So now we just made a right turn going westbound. Let's go to the other side of the freeway, please, Aldo. Please. Oops, under the overpass. Here we go. This is sometimes what they'll do. I lost him. He didn't come out. Where is he? Turn me southbound, please. Where is he? Where's right there? That that does me no good. Where's right there? No, no. He he didn't come out from there. Can you get me closer to that, please? Perhaps. I think he might be moving south. I know we just missed him. We we gotta go. Okay. 
Where's the airship? He's going westbound now. He's going westbound here on Gage. And he's turning northbound now. So he's coming back towards us, turning northbound. You got eyes on it now, northbound on Gage, uh, northbound on Figueroa. Goodness, that was almost an accident right there. That intersection right there, I think that was 59th Street. I mean, literally, that vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed. We're going about 55 miles per hour northbound on Figueroa. Literally went through that intersection and almost missed two vehicles. We got a red light here coming up on, uh, gets us cross street here, 54th Street. 54th Street, you can see vehicle going, going eastbound there. He's turning towards us now, Aldo. He's going eastbound now. He's eastbound on 54th Street. He's gonna cr cross right under us. You got eyes on him? He's crossing under the 110 freeway right now, under the 110 freeway. Oh, don't pull that again. Yeah, I believe that's him just turning northbound. Just wanna make sure this guy's, yeah, he's, he's still hauling here. Okay, so now he's uh, parallel in the 110 Harbor Freeway. He's turning westbound again, so you're good right here. He's turning westbound. He's been going in and out of this area, in and out of this area quite a bit here. And you can see LAPD officers have this area surrounded. They're actually trying to set up a spike strip. He's on the west side of the 110 freeway. Here we go. People on the street cheering him on. Really not a good idea. Aldo, get me on the other side so I can see. Slide me to the left if you can, please. If you can safely do that. I want to see over this hill, over this wall, rather. So obviously those people will be spoken to by LAPD. They want to know whether or not... He is, uh, he's going to go back, and that's a one-way street. It, look at him, doing some, doing some circles here. Now it's just probably one of these situations where this guy knows he's going to uh, uh, get all this attention and start driving erratically on these streets here. We're on the, just right off of 51st Street. You can start seeing a lot of people are coming outside in this area. They hear the commotion. This guy's just doing donuts here. Engaging with somebody over here, giving somebody a high five or doing whatever. And, you know, we don't know the relation if this person knows that, if they know each other. Uh, but this is just right on South Grand Avenue, just uh, west of 55th Street here. Apparently, uh, they're having a long conversation here. They're having a long conversation. LAPD units really know where. Here we go. Here's LAPD units coming up from behind right now. And as LAPD units come up from behind here, they uh, this driver just continues here. Now we're coming up onto, they're still on, uh, on, on Grand Avenue, South Grand Avenue here, just paralleling the 110 freeway. A vehicle has made numerous stops talking to individuals, making erratic maneuvers, made that uh, right turn there, driving on the wrong side of the road, passing vehicles, traveling pretty fast now, 45 miles per hour, unsafe speeds for streets here. And this here is uh, Los Angeles, or this is Broadway, South Broadway. And you can see how he just goes through the intersection, starts making these donuts here, turning around, 
And you know what? It's just a matter of time before LAPD just rams this vehicle. They're going to bring this pursuit to a stop here shortly. It's starting to get a little dangerous here as this person is starting to drive erratically, showing off here in this neighborhood, kind of showcasing here, which creates a potential danger to pedestrians and other drivers and a bicyclist. You can, you can see these people riding their bikes and uh, unexpectedly having a pursuit come up behind them here. There you go. You can see we're on Grand Avenue. And apparently, he's just kind of inviting. Uh, can we get to the other side? See, oh, no, hey, there it goes. When you can safely do it, can I uh, see what the driver's doing? Thanks. We're on West 52nd Street. We're going eastbound, eastbound on 52nd Street here. Approaching Broadway again, coming into that intersection. LAPD units really close behind. Most likely they're going to try to perform a pit maneuver. Hopefully they'd be able to do a pit maneuver and bring this pursuit to a stop. And you can see that erratic maneuver there, quickly flipping a U-turn there in front of LAPD officers and continuing here on West 52nd Street. We're on 52nd Street. Again, we're just east of the 110 freeway. That's the LAPD helicopter following this pursuit here. Started out of the LAPD, we understand, uh, 77th Division stolen vehicle. Speeds are about 40 miles per hour right now, about 40 miles per hour as we come up on the intersection here. I'm going to bring up the map overlay, kind of give you an idea of where we are. West 52nd Street coming up on Main. And you can see as that vehicle accelerates, you can see our speedometer down there. We can track the vehicle and see how fast or slow that vehicle is going as he slowly makes that turn. No doubt this individual is aware of what he's doing and he's taunting these officers. Officers are going to follow their protocol. They pull up behind the vehicle, open the door. Usually when they do that is when he starts driving away. You can see we're on southbound Main Street right there at 52nd Street, West 52nd Street at Main Street. And now we're going on 52nd Street again. We're continuing eastbound. Looks like we may be near a school here. Pulling into uh, a, a northbound street here. This is Woodlawn Avenue. Woodlawn Avenue, going northbound Woodlawn Avenue. This is a residential street. Uh, th no, no business driving at these speeds here. Residential street, now we're back on East 51st. East 51st Street, going eastbound on East 51st Street. Approaching a major street right here. You can see LAPD, they may want to try to bump that bumper. Not too sure if they've been uh, given the authorization to do a pit maneuver. No doubt they are trying to set up spikes. Do you have eyes on him? Okay. Blowing through some stop signs. We saw one real close call as he got off the Harbor Freeway, continuing northbound on Figueroa. There was a really close call where literally two vehicles just went right between this car. Fortunately, there was no accident, but... Right now, we're continuing, just passing Wall Street here. I believe we're on Wall Street right now. That LAPD officer getting a little close there, getting a little close as we come up on uh, 46th. Wall Street and 46th, we're headed northbound. The Harbor Freeway is to the east of the driver. A correction, to the uh, left side of the driver. So the Harbor Freeway is to the west of the driver here as we continue. We're on the east side of the 110 freeway, continuing northbound on Wall Street. Vehicle right now about 35 miles per hour. This is a residential area. It may not seem like the vehicle is traveling too fast, but considering this is a residential, we're coming up on the major intersection. This is Vernon, making a right turn on Vernon. Maybe doing one of those donut uh, uh, 360s. That would be perfect time. There we go. Rammed the vehicle. That's what they were going to do. Uh, unfortunately, uh, wasn't too successful, but what that does is now it aggravates the driver. Now we see excess speeds, escalates the situation. Driver now really picking up, going about 50 miles per hour, coming up on a red light here, turning southbound. He's coming towards us now, although on San Pedro. Southbound on San Pedro from Vernon, and you can see just how fast this vehicle is going. He's going to go underneath us. Okay, good deal. Oh, that was very nice. We're going to have to maneuver the helicopter here. It's going to go underneath us. He's just passing us now. He's on my left side. He's on my left side. You see pe uh, pedestrians there. Vehicle continuing southbound here. Southbound on San Pedro here. We're going to reposition the helicopter. You got eyes on him? Okay, I'm shooting about 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock.
San Pedro and 51st Street. So you can see we're in the same area. The vehicle has been uh, hugging the same area. A lot of times drivers will go where they're familiar with. Whoops, here we go. A lot of times drivers will go where they're familiar with here. Trying to get us a little closer here. We're in the LAX airspace, so it's a little tricky right now. We're dealing with LAX. They're doing a great job accommodating all the helicopters here as we make a right turn on East 54th. East 54th. So now we're going back to the Harbor Freeway. Look how he picks up those speeds here, going about 50 miles per hour right now, picking up those speeds. Very dangerous as we go up through these intersections here. Vehicle just making a left turn in front of that car, unaware of what's going on. you got children on the street right there, somebody riding a bicycle, coming up on a major intersection here right by the Food for Less, continuing past that headed toward the Harbor Freeway. A lot of activity in this neighborhood. This is uh, West 54th Street. Now we're on 54th Street here going westbound headed toward the 110 Harbor Freeway. We're approaching Broadway here, West 54th Street, approaching Broadway. As I pull out here, you can see the type of neighborhood it is. But Broadway Street, got a red light. He's got a red light here. Fortunately, he seems to be waiting for the red light right now. Somebody running out again, and that's LAPD. Look at that spike strip. Man, you could not hit a better spike strip. Not only did he run it over, he took the spike strip with him. The vehicle took the spike strip, and it's stuck under the vehicle. Hopefully, that'll be a successful uh, deployment there. Look at this guy just doing 360s in the intersection. This guy, he's just taunting officers here. Let's try to get around that uh, building. If, I think. Oh, now he's now hey, hey, a little too close. He's headed towards officers. Aldo, give me on the other side because I think it's going to end here. LAPD, they're done. You are done. Look at that guy filming this. Look at him push that vehicle. We're going to push you into that car. LAPD, wow, unbelievable. I've never seen that, the way they've ended this pursuit. They literally pushed this car into a 360. This is West 54th Street, uh, just uh, right off of uh, Broadway. This is Broadway and West 54th Street. Hands are out. I'll zoom in because I can see the suspect's hands. He is compliant, but look at these officers. They are not happy. They've got their guns drawn on this individual. And really, this guy is going to have a problem getting out. He may have to get out the passenger side. But look at that, he has got a, a, a that's a beanbag weapon right there, making this guy climb out of the vehicle. Officers have lost all their patience for this guy. They are making him climb out of this vehicle and they're gonna put this suspect into custody. He puts so many people's lives in danger with his erratic driving. We'll keep a tight shot. We can see his hands throwing something on the, uh, on the hood of the vehicle. He's not going anywhere. This guy, he knows the routine here. We're going to move around here so we can see. They're still going to clear that vehicle, make sure whether or not there's anybody else in that vehicle. But a swarm of officers, really great job to LAPD officers bringing this to a, uh, a, a successful closure here. Dangerous pursuit here in the streets of downtown Los Angeles. This is right off of Broadway, just north of 54th Street. A dramatic ending as LAPD rammed the vehicle and literally just spun it around numerous times in order to bring this pursuit to an end. Heart-stopping car chases happening across Southern California. Subscribe here. Thanks for watching. The chase is on.